Okay, now we've got a bit of a moral dilemma for you this Monday. If you knew you'd always wanted to be a parent or were under the impression that your other half also wanted the same, but then they suddenly changed their mind, um, would you leave them, Jane? Uh, yes, I probably would. Um, but it, it's interesting. So, um, you know, Reddit, the, the, the website. So yeah. a 35-year-old woman, she's been married uh, for five years together with the guy for eight and a half. He's always said he wanted to have kids. Mm. Um, and she's now saying he's, he's delaying, 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 and she wants to have them. And she kind of put up this dilemma and like thousands of people replied and some sort of said, well, freeze your eggs and, and he might change his mind. But most wow. just said, leave him. Wow. Leave wow. him because, you know, if he's, if he's now kind of going back on what he said and it's a big thing, isn't it? If you're a woman and you want to have children, that's a big thing to, to mm. kind of put on the back or just to not do. Mm. Um, on the basis of, yeah. of somebody else. Because the reality of life is, is our bodies will not produce eggs in the same way no. when we're older than if we are younger. So we really do have quite a window that we have to, to a work very in. very small window. Yeah. And I know that I've had friends where their other halves of year... Yep, yeah, no, we'll definitely do it next yeah. year. No, no, we'll definitely do it next yeah. year. Yeah, and we'll do it the year after. So, and then suddenly, actually, I don't want them. It's, yeah. heart, it's heartbreaking. I've seen it happen to friends as well. And I think it's a conversation that you have to have at the beginning beginning, yeah. I, I, especially if you're like a certain age of a woman, I think this is something you need to have. The same with like marriage. These two things, do you plan to get married? Do you want to have children? Like, it, it can define and change a whole relationship. Yes. And this is your time, your life, you're sitting down there. The most heartbreaking thing I've ever advised a friend is, listen, you don't want to look back two, three years time and you haven't had your child. And yeah. it's even harder when the partner has children already mm, yeah. and you're, you've got that pining. So it's a conversation you have at the beginning. If the guy or the woman is like, oh, well, that's a bit heavy for you to ask, then they're not on the same level yeah. as you sometimes. Or like what happened with a friend of mine where she was with, with her husband for years and years and years and he said, no, no, I don't want children, I don't, and she did. He then left her for somebody mm. else and had a child. Oh, oh. I mean, I mean, Denise, is there an element of perhaps if someone says, no, they don't want to do something, is there an element sometimes where the other half will think, oh, I'll be able to change their mind, it's fine? Yeah, but I think that... I think that certainly something as fundamental as whether you want children or not is, is, is something that has to be discussed and ironed out in the first place. I had a friend who was married to someone who um, promised her uh, children and um, kept saying, no, no, no. She eventually found out he was being unfaithful. They had discussed names for children and the name they decided on for a girl, he went off and immediately had a child with another person and called them the baby that name that they had discussed, heartbreaking. But Jane and I watch a show, our favorite show, 90 Day Fiance. We do. And it's amazing how many people on that think that they're gonna change their, their yeah. partner's mind. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and it's, they're probably not. And you yeah. can't hold somebody to ransom, you right. know, when you're already married, if that's been agreed in the first it's place. It's kind of a so tricky conversation. It's too important. But isn't this, it, though? When you're in your 20s yeah. or so, say, like, even mid-20s and you meet... So it's quite a... It feels like quite a heavy conversation to have with somebody. I, I understand I that, but I think... you get a feeling, though. I think you get a you feeling do. from people whether yeah. they want to have children or not. Yeah. And it's deception, it isn't it? would have been a deal-breaker for me. But it's deception, yeah. isn't it? You've, you've committed to this relationship on the understanding of this is what you both want. Yeah. So to then be strung along is deception, and deception is enough for you to say it's time for me to walk so away. So then, Jane, should we be having contracts, perhaps, and drawing up contracts? I would totally do that, I think. Me? Would you? Yeah, <coughs> absolutely. Because, you know, when sometimes, even in uh, all the time in marriage, you know, you have a discussion with your, your other yeah. half and then yeah. later on you go, well, you said, and they go, well, I didn't say that. And you think, oh, I wish I was filming that. <laughs> <laughs> so something as big as do you want a child, yeah. I think absolutely. It's almost like, especially I think when you get into your 30s as a woman, mm -hmm. I think when you're in your 20s, you, got, you think, oh, I've got yeah, forever. Yeah, I've got ages. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're 35, like this lady I was talking about here. It's a whole different kettle of fish. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm.